and welcome to this month's edition of Ask Dogfish, where you ask burning, searing, important questions, and I do my darndest to answer them. Let's do this. First question comes in from Jeremy Dumphy. It's a great one, which is, did we hear at Dogfish discontinue the artist series of labels because you really enjoyed the artwork and how they spoke to the actual beers that they were on the four packs and six packs of? Answer is heck no. Not only did we not discontinue it, we're actually magnifying it. We're morphing what was our seasonal beer program, beers like Romantic Chemistry and Pumpkin Ale, into what we will be calling the art series. This year's artist, wait for it, wait for it, it's an old pal of Dogfish returning, Mark Spusta. You might recognize his work from our Tweezenale or our Thea Broman. He's worked with some really amazing bands. In fact, if you want to meet him at Dogfish, he'll be in Milton for our awesome cast beer and music festival that is known as Analog A Go Go. That is happening November 4th. Mark will be out here signing some really cool artwork for that. Our GABF booth will actually be riddled as an homage to the artwork of Mark Spusta. So if you're gonna be at GABF, check that out. But in terms of Mark art, Mark's artwork and how it's gonna be uh, coming into the world of our beers, the first beer that he's doing the artwork will be the four, uh, six packs of our Liquid Truth Serum, which is our winter beer. It's a beautiful IPA. Uh, while our continual hop beers get their unique hopping nuances during the boil, Liquid Truth Serum is su super unique because it's a myth that you can only pick up bitterness while you're boiling the beer. The truth is this is a beer where 100% of the hop additions happen post-boil, both on the hot side and the cold side. So look for Mark Spusta's art as our first art series artist coming at you with Liquid Truth Serum and everything after it uh, for 2018. Next question comes in from Jared George. It's a great one, which is, he loves our 90 minute IPA. It's his favorite Imperial IPA. It tastes nothing like the other Imperial IPAs. He's head out there and he's wondering if it is that continually hot process that makes it so unique. And the answer is heck yes. In fact, in the room right behind me, we have the newest generation of our continual hopping devices. And this all started at our brew pub in Rehoboth when I rigged a vibrating football game over our little five barrel kettle and a bucket of hops, pelletized hops over it. Just by angling the perforated bucket over the vibrating football game over our kettle, we could control the rate that the hop pellets were going into the boil. The goal was to have one hop pellet hitting the top of the beer the entire time continually that the beer was boiling for 90 minutes. Hence the name, 90 minutes, it's 9% alcohol as well. Uh, and this, this continual hopping process that we came up with is super unique in that by dosing hops in tiny increments in across the entire boil, instead of the tradition of adding one dose of hops, big dose early for bitterness, and one dose of hops late for aroma, the continual hopping dosing model makes for a beer that's incredibly nuanced, intensely hoppy without being crushingly bitter. So when you try 90, you get that sweet malty backbone, you get that uh, beautiful uh, hop bouquet, almost a marmalady citrusy bouquet, but then at the end of the sip, you don't have that lingering crushing bitterness. That's what makes 90 Minute so special. Next question comes in from Bryce Wharton. Uh, and this question is, are we planning on having our Spirited Weekend again? And the answer is, we're excited to say, heck yes. So Spirited Weekend is all about centering a dogfish experience around our beautiful from scratch distillery, which is also located here at our Milton facility. Everything Dogfish makes in our distillery like we do in our, our brewery is made from scratch. In fact, our vodka, our analog vodka, is basically a beer that we brew in our big brewery. We uh, mill the grains here, we uh, ferment it here, everything's done from scratch. Same with our gins, our brandies, our specialty spirits as well. Uh, so this year's Spirited Weekend is going to be on January 12th through 14th. It won't just be spirits, it'll be everything from our hotel to our restaurants to our tasting room beer and spirits. Also, uh, if you do love our spirits, and you love seafood and who doesn't, uh, come to our geographically enamored seafood restaurant, Chesapeake and Maine in downtown Rehoboth, October 21st. 21st of October, we are doing a seafood and spirits dinner. That's gonna also turn into like a bi-monthly series of seafood and spirits dinners. First one's October 21st. Oh, ho, 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 it is time for the speed round. I'm gonna jog in place for this one to suggest motion and speed. 
And Jean Jean the Dancing Machine, for those of you my age that might have uh, remembered that uh, show, The Gong Show. Aiden Moose wants to know, will you be running the dash this year? Wow, and I'm jogging already. I guess that's foreshadowing. Aiden in Lewis wants to know if I'll be jogging the dash. And yes, I'm a shitty runner. Got really bad lower back. So I got these super bouncy shoes and I will be running the dash listening to the new LCD sound system album while I run painfully. All right, Joe Colombo wants to know, would love to have some more 61. Any chance of another release? Joe Colombo wants to know if we've got 61 coming out this year, if there'll ever be another a release. Heck yes, there will. You'll be able to find 61 in a mixed 12-pack. IPAs for the holidays coming at you with 6090 and Indian Brown in addition to the 61. Look for it also on draft at limited releases starting late this fall. All right, Bobby Mack wants to know, are you planning to bottle the tribute to Sirius Nero because that stuff is amazing? So are we planning to bottle, this is from Bobby Mack, uh, uh, Syracuse Nera, which is a beautiful, dark, uh, wine must infused, roasty, wood aged, strong ale that's awesome that Amanda, one of our brewers, came up with. Uh, and uh, we love that beer. And yes, when will that one be coming out, Tim? November. Oh my gosh, it'll be coming out this November in bottles, 12 ounce, look for it. Very great, ageable beer, kind of like Palo Santo in that way. All right, that's it. Whoo, that was easy. Gonna get a little hammy stretch now. Cooling down. Thank you.